I'm put sorry. your son in between Bro, us sorry. and you. You I'm, understand I'm that? Sorry. That was a bad decision. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Terrible decision. You're, you're right, you're right, sorry. This was the moment law enforcement officers feared for the life of a young boy and were forced into action to free him from his father. When evil fathers realize they've been caught, they'll say anything to stay out of jail. Come on, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, bro. All right, all right. Let go. Just get out of the okay. truck. Resisting. I'm not. Bro. All right. All right. Chill, chill, chill. Okay. No, we're not chilling. Okay, okay. Bro. Roll over. Like this stepfather did after officers found a crowbar in his bed. I'm in here watching TV, bro. You got me a handcuffs. I'm telling you. But first. He'll meet a father in New Mexico who decided to remodel his house with a hammer while his terrified son called 911. They're breaking all this in the house. Narcissistic father. On June 25th, 2023 in Las Cruces, New Mexico, a son approached his father and asked why he'd been unemployed for the past three years. Dad didn't appreciate it freaked out and started smashing windows out of the house. His son immediately called 911. He's breaking the windows, breaking property. Oh, out of here. Get You're the breaking the house. You're break yeah. breaking all this in the house. When an officer arrived, the suspect was waiting for him outside and tried to do some damage control by admitting he smashed the house windows. The officer was unimpressed with his honesty and showed him to the back seat of his SUV while the man continued to plead his case for leniency. The son explained that he provided for everyone in the house and he was sick and tired of his freeloading father sponging off of him. Uh, sir, is it okay if you open the gate and we not at this time? So you wanna... Okay, so do you mind walking over there? after listening to the rest of his father's sob story his son escorted the officer into the property to show him the aftermath of his father's extreme temper tantrum Does that, those cameras work? They don't. They don't? We don't have electricity, so I can't be charging them. Oh, okay. So I, I didn't get him breaking out, but the wrench, like. Mm -hmm. A second officer arrived at the scene, and the arresting officer explained the bizarre situation. It was hard to believe, but luckily the son recorded the violent outburst on his phone. Can, we, um, okay. can, can I watch the video one more time? Please. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The freeloading father was charged with aggravated assault. The father in our next case didn't use hammers to endanger his child. Instead, he got hammered and raced down the highway with him and his girlfriend in the car. You refuse to take this? Nah, you don't need to read my rights. Everybody knows, like troops for you. Would you know that you're not telling me? That's double jeopardy. You're trying to find me guilty. I'm going to sleep 10 times better tonight. Read. In Indiana, on January 18th, 2023, a state trooper spotted a vehicle traveling on the highway at speeds nearing 110 miles an hour. When the officer finally got the man to pull over, the situation was far worse than he thought. He was drunk and his girlfriend and child were in the car. The man was identified as Anthony Reed. The officer told Anthony he smelled alcohol and he was going to have to perform sobriety tests. But first, the officer had to make sure he wasn't carrying any weapons, since Anthony was acting oddly aggressive based on the circumstances. It's only 70. Why are you going so fast for? Yeah. Just stay here in the vehicle. I'll be back up here shortly. What's that? I'm fine on the rental stuff. I'll check the books. Just stay in the vehicle. I'll be back up here shortly. Have you been drinking today? Any alcohol? Okay. Can you leave that in here? Okay. That's um, that's when we get you out to check and make sure. Because I, when I was up here the first time, I so much smelled alcohol. Um, so I'm going to check you if you haven't been drinking. Um, then I'm going to give you a of citations and let her take over driving, okay? Um, if you are drinking and you're over, then we'll deal with that whenever it happens. So, before I get you out, do you have any knives, guns, weapons on you of any type? What is it? It was a pocket knife. Nothing else on you. Anthony refused to perform the sobriety tests, and the officers informed his wife what the consequences were for him and her family, and told her she was free to leave the scene and wait for him at the precinct. Will you take a test? No, sir. Okay. So, so we've run some tests on him, and he's refusing to do any tests for us. All right, he's failed his eye test. All right. Well, that's because he's been driving for eight hours now straight. Yeah, uh, the so eye test isn't something that you can. It, it's a, it's a natural reaction to alcohol. Okay. Uh, he. Uh, I'm just saying, he's refusing the test. We're getting ready to read him for life consent, which means uh, we have probable cause to say he's been drinking and driving. All right? I, I mean, don't be mad at me. I'm not the person that's here. I mean, I'm just, I'm just here to help. All right? I'm just trying to explain to you what's going on. Okay? So what's happened is he's got to read him for consent. If he agrees to that. He'll go to get a, a what they call a certified test. If he doesn't agree to that, we'll get a warrant for his blood and we'll take him to the hospital and do it that way. Okay? Um, uh, let me get done with him back there first. And I will. Can you? Uh, is that a can of Red Bull over there in the door? Is that what it is? Okay. 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 That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. I don't need anything else. <laughs> I understand. I understand. But when the officer smells alcohol, he's got to investigate. You know what I mean? So. That's where we're at now. You have a valid license, is that correct? Okay, well, as long as your license is good, you'll either have to wait on us or how you're going to do it. You'll have to drive to the next town, wait on him to get done with his test or whatever he's going to do with him, okay? And I'll let you know. I'll let you, I'll let you know more here in just a minute, okay? Anthony was loaded into the squad car and his distraught girlfriend was told where she could find him. When he arrived at the precinct, his behavior became very bizarre though he did agree to perform sobriety tests, which didn't go well. Her mom? Okay. Yes, sir. Is your sister going to be okay with her taking that kid up there? No, we, we actually, we, we brought the kid from Atlanta. Okay. We picked the kid up to bring him back home. Okay. So she knows you're coming? Yeah, everybody knows. Okay. So. You have to take the certified test. It's the test yes, set sir. here, too. I will. I will. Okay. I will. I ain't sure. The other thing is, is I have two more sobriety tests to give you. Um, Which one? The nose? The, 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 the. No, one will be walking line, and it will be standing on one leg. Okay? I'm done. You're not going to finish the test? You already marked me. You're not finishing the test? You already marked me. I'm writing down notes. <laughs> you marked me. <laughs> Yeah, I just say you marked me. You marked me. Right, I got, I got to keep you notes. Me. You got to keep notes. 
You mark me. Are you stopping? That's up to you. Reed was charged with operating a vehicle while intoxicated with a child passenger and operating a vehicle with a blood alcohol content of 0.15 or greater. Bro, oh, she's psycho, oh, bro. Listen, you're not listening. No, you're not listening to me, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. She's f***ing my mental. I'm not. I don't have any. Bro, of that. bro, bro, bro. Justin, on March 3rd, 2023, police dispatchers in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, received a 911 call from a woman who claimed that the father of her son, identified as Justin, was knocking on the windows of their apartment after she locked him out. She said she had a Marchman Act in place which permitted him to be involuntarily kept in a treatment facility to get help for his substance abuse issues. When officers arrived at her house, she told them about the order and they were more than happy to enforce it. Justin wasn't so happy about it. Let's see how he reacted. The first officer at the scene knew Justin. Apparently, it wasn't the first time 911 dispatchers received a call about his behavior, so the officer wasn't exactly pleasant towards him. She left, said, okay, no problem. I said, we're good, I can come back home. We're good, we had a big talk. She pulled up, we said, everything's fine. We went and took him to the park, spent some time. Now we come home and we're locked out. Okay. What was the call, bro? Because we just, we leave, bro? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, Justin, I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? I'm, I'm getting tired of it, okay? I, I understand, bro. And, I understand. And I'm still a little bit, a little bit PO'd that you lied to me last night, bro. you know? I, I probably, listen, last night I was trying to get. I, listen, listen, Justin, okay? It wasn't nothing against you, bro. I know, I you know. You know me and you are. I know, I just had to get it out there. We talked about it, it's over, okay? All right, cool. Shockingly, Justin started a fight with the officers while he held his son in his arms. The officers now had another potential danger to worry about and another reason to treat Justin as the evil father he was. Oh, bro, this lady's such a psycho. Calm, calm. Bro, she's psycho, calm. bro. Listen, you're not listening. No, you're not listening to me, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. She's f***ing my mental. I'm not. I don't have any sense bro, of that. Bro, 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 bro. I'm not leaving my kid, bro. I'm not leaving my kid. Justin, please, you're not getting this kid out of my arms. Just please, no, bro. Please listen no, to me. No, bro, I'm not going. Justin, I'm not f***ing going. Justin, you're, you're not, not taking my kid from me, bro. Okay, Justin. No, Olivia, no. No, I'm going to tell you something. Let me talk to you for a second. Listen, I'm not going, he's bro. He's going to go there. He's going to drop you off. And I'll wait there. Justin, listen to me. I'm not going to you. Please, I'm just not, listen. I'm not going, bro. I'm not going, bro. Please, please. No, it's a no. I'm not going. I'm not changing my mind. You see my son? That's no. because you're yelling in his face. No, you're no. the one that's upsetting him, okay? Listen to me. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Yes, I'm listening. I'm not going. Justin, Justin. If, you, if you please just listen to me. They're going to drop you off. DAF cannot hold you if you don't want to be. This is a super simple thing, okay? I pro just please listen. Okay? Then let me stand right. Then follow us and let us go. Listen. Let follow me down there. Then. Listen. She will follow please you. Please just listen to me, okay? Yes. Yeah. I know you're call. upset. Okay? Bro, I'm, I, bro, I'm not. Go, I'm not leaving him, bro. I'm not. It's a no. It's but, a no, no, no. But you got a sip. No. Like, no. I'm it'll not leaving be him. for a ride to Delray, and then we'll come back. Justin, no, please listen. To me, no, okay? bro. No, bro. Look, no. Look at me and no, listen to me. No, bro. Okay? I'm not leaving my kid, bro. Justin, not happening. You're not listening. I don't care what y'all say. I'm. You're not taking him out of my arms, and I'm not going. Five seconds. No. They're gonna drop you no, off, bro. and I'm gonna no. be there in the parking lot. No, Olivia. To pick you up. No. Okay. Can I sit him on the passenger seat and turn AC on for him? It's that, hot. I'm sweating that, my that's, off. That's that's fine. As long as you're not, look at me. You're not gonna drive away. No, bro. Come on. I get my kid, bro. I know you do. I'm gonna race but, off with my son. But, but, but you're hot right now, okay? That's fine. <laughs> you're holding the keys. That's fine. But listen, this isn't like going to jail. I'm not putting you in handcuffs. This, you're you're keeping your property. It's as simple as. I'm going to drive you down to this hospital. I'm going to bring you inside. They're going to assess you. Justin locked himself in the truck with his son, and the officers were put in the toughest position of all. How long could they wait before forcing him out, knowing that his son was sitting on his lap? Let's see how long they let Justin play his game. Bad decision right now, Justin. I'm, it's a bad decision. You need to make a smarter decision right now. Why? Because you're not involved in just yourself right now. You're involved in your son, okay? This is only going to go one way, and it's going to go bad. We're trying. We don't want that. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for me. I don't want that for your son. Do you understand that? I'm trying to talk some rationale into you. This is. It doesn't have to be like this. You need to make a smart decision right now for yourself and your boy. Ready, John thinks he has the key fob. Hmm? John thinks he has the key fob. You ready to try to John needs to be able to snatch that. Um, yeah. Are you Come ready on, to snatch the kid at the same I, time? I need you to help me out here. Seriously. He said he's ready. I need you to help me out. 
You open up the car? Come on, man. Do it, John. Come on, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, bro. All right, all right. Let go. Justin, hey, get out of the okay. truck. Resisting. I'm not, bro. All right. Yeah, chill, chill, chill. Okay. No, we're not chilling. Okay, okay. Right, Roll over. Roll over. Right, Stop right. resisting. Sorry, sorry, chill. All right, all right, Sarge. All right, all right, bro. I was trying to see you. All right, Sarge, chill. That's okay, bro. We're good. Justin was charged with resisting arrest. Up next, a woman receives a knock on her door at 3 a.m. from two young girls looking for a place to sleep. I need you to go ahead and put your hands behind her back, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Sit for your phone. you get him some shoes? Yeah. Kicks out at midnight, and Georgia law enforcement officials were dispatched to a subdivision just before 3 a.m. after a woman called 911 to report that two young girls knocked on her front door looking for a place to sleep for the night. The girls told the officers that their father kicked them out of the house for the night because they ordered a pizza delivery without permission. After hearing their story, the officers were very interested in having a chat with their father. When the officers first approached the girls, they were too scared to talk, but eventually realized they had no choice. Two young girls? Uh, uh, 61A from 61B, I've got to shut off. Are they, are they uh, black, white, Hispanic, Asian? Looks like Asian. Asian? Yeah. What's going on, ladies? Can you tell us what's going on? Where do y'all live? You guys speaking any English? Yeah, we do. Okay, so what's going on tonight? Uh, our parents, my dad was just mad at us, so... Okay, where do you guys stay at? Where is that? Walker's Lane. In this neighborhood? Okay, how far are we from there? Uh, hey, you want to look at it? Yeah, put it on the maps. Yeah. Lemonade what? Walker's Lane. Walker's Lane? Lane? So what, what happened tonight? Uh-oh. Parents were just mad. They were mad? What well, for? No, my dad was mad. What was he mad for? Uh, because he thought we ordered, like, food without his permission. Okay. Did anything happen? No. No, he just yelled? Yeah, he told us to stay in the backyard. Outside? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're we're going to just stay at the door for now. Um, we'll, we'll chat. Now, are both your parents home? Okay. And are they usually asleep by now? Okay. How long have you guys lived here for? Okay, so not very long. Okay. Ten minutes later, they arrived at the girls' home to have a chat with Dad. He said the girls were on the tennis court in the backyard, so there wasn't a problem, and it was no big deal at all. The officers disagreed. Hey, I'm Officer Cheney, Dallas Creek Police Department. Uh, yeah. The reason I'm here is, do you know where your kids are right now? Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 my kids, I... Your kids. Oh, you, yeah. have two, you have kids? Yeah, I I have two daughters. Okay. They are tennis playground. So... They're on the playground? Yeah, because okay. of us. Because of, uh, you know what time it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. They, they're doing some beauty, so... They're doing they, some what? Beauty, beauty. They, they not, not obey the uh, parents' control. So I, 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 I make suspect to you go stay in over there, and then I call you come back. Dad apparently thinks they ordered the food on his card and told them they were going to stay outside until he apparently feels like it. Um, according to the older of the two girls, this is not the first time this has happened, and he usually lets them in when he feels like it. As the officers questioned the girls to try and make sense of the strange situation, the oldest daughter revealed that this wasn't the first time something like that happened. Daddy would have to answer some more pressing questions. Are both of you okay? Y'all hurt in any way? Okay. Did this sort of thing happen before? I can't hear you. Okay, when was that? It was like back in our house. Okay, where was that? In Lawrenceville. In Lawrenceville? Okay. How long ago do you think that was? Hmm? What do you mean? Like, was that this year, last year, a couple years ago? 
2021. In what? During 2021. 2021. Okay. Did um. Was it this time of time of day too, or? No, it was like early like nine or something. Okay. Did the, the police come out on that one too? No, we no, were like in the, we had a balcony, so like, we didn't. Yeah, we just she just made space. Okay. Your kids are with us. They're safe. They're they're in the warm now, thanks to us. But. From what it sounds like to me, is you put your kids out in the wet cold. Yeah, that, that because I, they ordered food. Well, they stayed the parents' money. Still, still, yeah, still the parents' money. That's why I make get it. Okay, where do you keep your money at? Like I my jacket and I I uh my the. The man maintained he'd done nothing wrong and the girls just wandered off. But because this wasn't the first time, the officers didn't buy his story. Oh no, we, we stay in Lawrence Bay, yeah. Mm -hmm. We moved to here. Did, did, this, did this sort of thing happen in Lawrenceville too? This, uh, no, 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 this, no, uh, happening, no, stolen money, no. Okay. Have, have, have you punished them like this before in Lawrenceville? No. I need you to go ahead and put your hands behind her back, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Get for your phone. Can you get him some shoes? Yeah. Your daughters have shoes? Okay. Something can just slip in. Go ahead. You need to slip a while. Is there anything in your pockets right now? You go ahead and put them all there. You can double lock them. Try to break it. Okay. Hey. 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 Right. We're gonna go straight to this call right here, okay? Okay, do you have anything in your pockets? No, nothing. All right, ladies, we're gonna have you come on inside, okay? The man was charged with two counts of cruelty to children and one count of reckless conduct. Our next evil father thought it was okay to choke his stepdaughter, and even the police weren't going to change his mind. Choke stepdaughter. On June 24, 2024, police officers in Evanston, Illinois were sent to a home after emergency dispatchers received a call from a young woman that her stepfather had choked her. When officers arrived at the home, the man was not only unapologetic, he was furious that the officers were harassing him. Let's see what the officers thought about his behavior. Officers raced to the scene knowing that the man was still inside the home with the victim. Not knowing the severity of her injuries, an ambulance was sent to the home before the officer arrived. Freeze, it's in Ma'am, ma'am, listen to me. In the house. Yeah, he's inside the house with you still. Is he with you? Is he with you still? <laughs> he in the house. Okay, he in he's the in house. the house. Okay, I'm going to get the police over there. Hold on a second. Oh, please. We are, they are on the way. They're already on the way. I'm told you that already, okay? They're going to be there shortly. Tell me where you are in the house. I'm in the bedroom. I'm sitting here looking okay. at a cigarette that she threw on me in okay. my bed, burning. Okay. Listen, are you, well, can you, are you able to put that out? I can, but I want the police to see it. Okay. You don't want the police to see it. They're on the way over there, okay? Just stay in, your, stay in that room, okay, so that they're not able to, to get in the room, okay? Keep it secured. They're on the way. It's not secured. They just busted in the door. Is uh, you in there with someone? Yeah. Uh, so he's supposed to be in the bathroom. Yeah. I, I don't know if he's at a crowbar. He's Officer here. police! Officer police! Officer police! Police department! Officer police! Let me see your hand. You okay? Hey, listen. I can see you're bleeding, alright? You okay? 
down. No, I, I, I don't want to listen. I understand. Okay, I will. I will. You got to walk beside me. The second officer at the scene was told that a crowbar was found on the suspect's bed and he was already being placed under arrest when the second officer arrived. Stepdad was a real piece of work and had no interest in being civil to anyone, especially the officers. So we're gonna turn around. 191. While we're trying to figure this out, I'm gonna cuff you. You're not in trouble. You're just getting cuffed right now, so we'll figure this out. Just, just be smooth. You good to go? Uh, just give me what I get another one. Give me one second. We're just gonna do it too. We're gonna do two. Hold on, hold on. Just right. Okay, okay. We'll work with you. No, because this is not fair. I, I, I'm, right. I'm trying to figure out. We're good. No, 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 we don't do it in front, man. I will. I have one. Yeah, we will. And pick up this spray and tell me what it is. Is it a Newport or a Cool? That one is burning in the bed. Can you see where the problem took place at in here? Let's walk out. Watch this guy. in front of you here so you don't fall down the stairs, okay? Take one step at a time. There you go, one. Two. Yeah, I don't need that. It's good, bro. Okay. Just making sure you're good. You don't trip up. Right. Them bitches ain't no good. Hey, I'm he was saying he was sitting in his uh, sitting in the bed, bed, not bothering anyone. I was laying in my bed. Oh, laying in your bed, sitting in your bed, not bothering anyone. One of the daughters comes in and flicks a cigarette in his face and throws a remote at him. And he gets up and grabs her by the throat and pushes her out of the room. And then that's when the, and that EMS arrived to tend to the injuries suffered by the victim and the suspect. Apparently, she put up a fight to defend herself. What's the relationship here? So he's standing their mother right in front of him. Yeah. The two females. Melvina. Are he's dating Melvina. Yeah. It's not yeah. Mother it's not much, man. I don't know his mother's stuff. Is the one my mom was here? Like a lot of yeah, she was the one that was over here in the scrubs. She left or she I don't know if she left. Well, well, his daughters are over here. Okay. Yeah. Alright, sir. Here, come with me. So we're going to car 46. You getting arrested? Uh, so, yes. Why am I getting arrested? Uh, battery. Uh, Holy s. <laughs> Seriously, bro? Yeah. Camera's on. Okay, so someone reach across. The man was charged with battery. We're taking you to Georgia for a sixth case where a concerned mother called authorities about an argument between her husband and son. Mr. James, he plays under arrest for simple battery, okay? Simple battery? Simple battery. Okay. Argue son. In Georgia on December 16th, 2022, police officers were dispatched to a home to investigate a reported confrontation between a father and son. The man's wife called 911 after she heard the two arguing as she left for work, fearing it may escalate into a physical fight and she wouldn't be there to stop it. The first officer at the scene was greeted by the caller, Patrice Black, and she repeated the story that she told the 911 dispatcher. She was afraid to leave for work and wanted some peace of mind before she started her day. Let's see if she got it. Because this morning he got a real loud talking to us this morning, me and my son. The reason why I called is because I came back in and he were arguing with my son and they were loud. Before mm -hmm. I get ready to leave off and go to Oof, go to work, I, didn't, I don't want no fighting or none, none of that going on in the house. So that's why I called to calm him down because he got up loud, crunk, loud this morning. Okay. And I was, I was a little nervous and I called the police. So what I was, was he nervous. He, the thing about it is my car, I don't have any insurance on it, so I can't yeah. drive it. So yeah. I have to call Uber. So I got up and I told my son to call Uber for me. He gets up hollering in my son's ear, just hollering. And my son said, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it, what I got to do. But he keep hollering. And he, me and my son actually were standing outside. He went back in the house to get his phone. He, went, he couldn't get it because he got it. He wouldn't give him his phone. He's 20 years old. So I say, okay, you know what, I'm going to call the police if you got his phone and you won't give him his phone. My son was kind of crying because he wanted his phone. Okay. 
Okay. Patrice led the officer into her house to get her son's perspective of the situation. He explained he was getting ready for school when he got slapped twice across the face. It seemed the situation was more serious than it first appeared. He need to go find a job and do something with himself. Police right here. You come in, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, boss. Talk to the police and tell the police what happened. I'm Officer Stevens and you're not in trouble or anything like that. First thing, are you okay? Yeah. Man, I'm glad, okay? <laughs> what happened between you and your dad this morning? Uh, he woke me up uh, for, well, for the car and, uh, and then he woke for the me what? up. He was yelling at me. Mm -hmm. And then he just slapped me like two times. He slapped you? Yeah. How so? He was like, like, like I was laying down. He was in the chair leaning over. He was like, and I was like, bro, stop. And the third one. Like so on I, your face? My face. Your face. Okay. And then he got my phone. Were you Calm down. Okay, so you're laying down, you're asleep. He comes oh, in there, yeah. starts yelling at you. Yeah. And then slaps you in the face while you're laying down. He was talking to me, yelling at me, yeah. and slapping. He slapped It's just the way how he came to him. He like, stopped him. Put he just hollering. He hollering early in the morning. The boy just getting up. Yeah. He just getting up, and and I already had done got him up to do what I needed him to do anyway. But why you get out the bed and stop coming to him, hollering and cussing him and all that? That's what get. That's the that that would get me. I don't like stuff like that, and I could not go to work with to leave them two in the house like that. Absolutely not. No. Um, because of how he got up outrageous. Instead of being calm. I guess you was washing dishes, huh? He told you to wash dishes, that's what he told you to do? Okay, so you just did something. Don't cry, it's gonna be all right. No, man, you're and you're gonna get your phone. When the father was questioned, he had a different story. He said his son was being disrespectful and he didn't slap anybody. Then he thought it would be a good idea to let the officers know that they were wasting his time, their time, and everyone's tax dollars. It was an interesting decision. My name is on the lease. I'm the, I'm, I'm the only person on the lease here. Okay. That's my wife. I have a 20-year-old son, and I gave my son instructions this morning. I wish the law would come and tell me I can't do that. So, so what all transpired this morning? What transpired is my car is down, and so I needed to get an Uber for my wife. And all I did was tell him, transfer the car from one phone to the other so you can pay for the Uber. We got the Uber sitting out here waiting. The whole thing blew it over because my son is 20 years old and he needs to move the hell out of my house. Okay. That's the nutshell problem. So he's been living to, with you his whole life? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And when we get into a, when I tell him to do something and he feels like he can yell back at me mm -hmm. and I get upset because I'm the daddy and you're not going to disrespect me in my house. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the nutshell. Nobody hit anybody. I was over his head while he was sleeping. I said, get up and, and do what I said. I didn't slap him. I tapped my child on the head. So she got all belligerent about it, which is, that's probably why Twitch killed this up because I'm up to here. You know, I understand that we don't have, uh, but guess what? This shit don't make it no better. Okay. The week before Christmas and calling the yeah. police is the, 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 the best thing that you could have done. Yeah. Dad wasn't happy to see the officer return and give him the bad news. He wouldn't have to worry about a drive to work. They were going to give him a free ride to the precinct. Mr. James, you place under arrest for simple battery, okay? Simple battery? Simple battery. Okay. Okay. Just It'd be, it, would, it would be one thing if your son was a child still, okay? I get it. Corp corporal punishment was allowed, but he's 20 years old. At this point, it needs to be words, okay? I don't want to. I, I don't want to you, are you saying I did that? Which like, I, you, it was unwanted physical contact. It was unwanted physical contact. This is going to court. I need to know. You got anything on that you know about? No. You leave anything out of the house? Your wallet, keys, phone. You know How that? can I get it? We You're can, not going to let me go in the house. We, we can grab it for you. No, I'll bring you. Can, no, I, no. Can, I can have no. you. Can no. No. Okay. Come on, you can have a seat. I got you. You want to go to the hospital for any reason? If you want to, man, you go to the, I'll, I'll take it in my I can't believe this, bro. Gotcha. He was charged with simple battery. No. 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 For what? For what? For what? For what? For what? For what? No. David Six. On December 26, 2022, police officers in Florida were sent to a residence to investigate a claim that a man had assaulted his 10 and 14 year old sons. The man was shocked the officers were bothering him since all he was doing was playing video games with his family. But his 14-year-old son claimed otherwise, 
told his mother and she placed a desperate 911 call. They would soon meet Mr. David Six and he was a special kind of evil. The eldest son, along with his mother, met with the first officer at the scene and explained the horrific events. And not only did he explain it to them, he showed them the video. But, um, so he, he, uh, he was just, we were just playing um, a video game and I beat him and then so he started playing again against some uh, like a CPU and then he lost and he got mad because I, I don't remember what it was, my brother had said something and then he started punching him and stuff and slapping him. And started then, punching your brother? Yeah, and like tackling him and then... Um, How old is your brother? Nine and ten. Ten? Yeah. And then... Um, Who's your brother now? He's in the house still. Okay. And then he and then he said, you're next. And then I I tackled him away and I got to the um, door and I ran. You got the video you saw that? Yeah. There's a video? Yeah. A video of what? Him uh, hitting your brother? I think so. I tried to get so. Okay. This is not the first occurrence. Um, after seeing the despicable, inexcusable acts on video, the officers visited Mr. Six. He lied through his teeth, not caring one bit that the officers claimed to have video of the assault against his son. He stuck with his story and even challenged the officers about having enough reasonable suspicion to detain him. He still didn't believe that they had video of the assault, but that wouldn't matter. In the squad car, the officer told him what he thought of his actions and David, classy as ever, told the officer that he ruined the holidays for his family. No. 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 For what? For what? For what? For what? For what? What's your reasonable suspicion? What's your reasonable suspicion? You guys have to answer me that question. Are you guys kidding me? What's your reasonable suspicion to detain me? Hey, don't. What the fuck? Stop resisting. Look at what you're doing to my kids. Really? Are you kidding me? This is what I'm doing to my kids? What are you doing to detain me right now? Because what? I punished my kids under the Florida law? Are you kidding me? As long as I don't intend to injure my children in my punishment, that is my right. Well, also do, does the fact that you're intoxicated and you're dealing with I'm intoxicated? Here. Yeah, I can smell the alcohol coming from Yeah, I have. <laughs> you can laugh. I'm right like that. What's that? I'm like that. Okay, so you have no injuries, you said? No. Okay. Do you want me to call the AMS to check on you? No. Okay. My son doesn't either. The escalation techniques probably be useful at this point. He was charged with child neglect, child abuse, battery, and resisting arrest. 